Hi everyone, Kay Nargustand is here. I'm Elle, he's Kay. For those of you who don't know us, we are paranormal investigators in search of the truth behind the paranormal. What exists beyond this realm? An attempt to answer the question, is there life after death? To those of you who may have seen us before, what you may not know about us is that in March 2021, we were lucky enough to match six numbers on the Set for Life game by the National Lottery. You're, you're, you're joking. You're absolutely joking. Since that time, our life has become crazy with newspapers, radio, TV, all kinds of media exposure. And now, with thanks to the National Lottery, we are able to follow our dreams and push forward in our paranormal pursuit. Join us with our promotional footage as we demonstrate that your numbers can make amazing happen. We begin our investigation in the criminal court. As we are setting up equipment, we seem to be getting activity. Spirits, we think you're trying to communicate with us using the REM pod, which is under the large clock. Please just go closer to it if, you, if you're here. It won't hurt you. Did you guys hear that? What did you hear? Footsteps. Really heavy boot type footsteps. That's what I heard. Which direction? It sounded up high actually. Behind the clock, but high. Okay. Since we've heard them footsteps. Did you hear them? I didn't hear the footsteps, but. Did, did anybody else hear them, or was it just me? No, I didn't hear really. them. Okay, Spirit, we can hear you. Playing with the REM pod. Now the strange thing is that that REM pod very rarely goes off. And as we demonstrated earlier, you've got to get quite close to the aerial to, to actually make it make any form of noise. Go and have a look. So that's the, that's actually the temperature. So there must be quite a significant temperature change in this corner of the room. Put your torch. Right, okay. So I've reset the temperature again. That's, that's, something's touched that. Thank you, Spirit. Can you step away from it now? Thank you. Thank you. Are you watching us? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Can you give us a loud bang? Did you work here? Did anybody move then? It could have been the wood settling. That 
was really loud. If not, it could have been the wood. That's the issue in it, though, isn't it? So yeah. much wood that'll yeah. just. As the group are sitting, just having a little chat, we catch a strange okay. noise on camera. I do wonder if things like this, when justice was so different back in the Victorian times and before that, how many people were wrong to get hanged? Mm. Oh, yeah. And hanged for really ridiculous things. Yeah. Stealing a loaf of bread and that kind of doesn't fit the crime, does it? I don't know. Looks close to me, yeah. As I sit in the judge's chair, we decide to conduct an experiment whereby I wear headphones connected to the spirit box. Kay is asking questions that I cannot hear, and I'm just relaying whatever words come through the spirit box. Room. Stop. You want us to stop? By room, do you mean that we're in the courtroom? Yes, that's where we are. We can't really stop. We really want to communicate with you and talk to you. What were you tried for? Hero. Hero? Stop. Why are you here, Spirit? Okay, the cat ball's just gone off quite close to where Laura is. As we've demonstrated, it's, they usually only go off when stumble. Did you just stumble on the, on the witness stand? Is that, why the, is that why the ball went off? Did you stumble on spirit? Somebody moving about? It was what, sorry? Right. Move it. We can hear you moving, spirit. Whereabouts are you? What are you doing in here? Stop. So I'm hearing a lot of strange Jesus. noises. Jesus. Is he with you? <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of strange noises from the back of the room that obviously Laura won't be able to hear. It almost sounds like somebody's moving around. Stop. And the spirit seems to be telling us to stop. Please. Spirit, we're not here to harm you at all. We're not here to harm you at all. We just want to communicate with you. Please speak to us. Yes. Okay, thank you. So tell me, why are you here, Spirit? Sit. Did you used to sit in this courtroom? I'm assuming if you were sitting in here, you would have been one of the high rankers, the lawyers, the barristers, perhaps, maybe even the judge. Walking. 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 
Okay. So we've got a cat ball going off again. Okay. Where are you walking to? Are you walking around this room? Spirit, are you still there? That cold breeze is following me. Stood up. Where were you stood, Spirit? Have you just stood up from one of the chairs? Step. Little. I'm lights on up there. Spirit, are you something to do with this cold breeze that's coming through the room? Got another cat ball going off. Let's go. Let's go, where would you like us to go? Tell us where, we, where to go, Spirit. Where's the best place to communicate footsteps. with you? Footsteps, we've heard your footsteps. Can we hear them again? That was loud. Oh. You right? <laughs> it is horrible. <laughs> Thank you. So we just come down to the laundry room and while setting all the equipment up, we're actually getting activity straight away. So this um, looks to be promising. So let's see what we get. Evening spirits. My name's Laura. Do you want to come and talk to me? Bath. Ooh, the spider. I was going to lie down with the spider. So I'll just stay um, in. <laughs> Did someone die in this bathtub? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, thank you. We did ask you to, you know. Move the balls if um, you was here. We asked you earlier on. So thank you for that. Okay, so we've been given exclusive access to the sheriff's dungeon, which the public do not normally get to go in. So this is going to be very special. As soon as we come in here, you can just, you can feel that the air completely changes. It's actually quite horrible. It's oppressive. It really is. So, as you can see, I can't even stand up straight. So my head's touching the hand-carved hole in the ground. And this was dug out by human hands. And if you run your hands across it, the earth does actually come away. That in itself is disturbing.
Let us hear your footsteps. Do you want to tug my hair? It's never happened before. <laughs> that sounded like footsteps. It was like three or four bangs yeah. in a row then. And they're, they're just like they won't move around. Right. And that sounded different to me. It did. Okay, thank you if that was you. Can you give... Can you appear for us? Can you, can you show us where you are? No way. No, that could just be the... I'm going to throw another one. What just happened? Oh. No, it came back to me. Almost. Oh, could be. Could be just the, the shape just, of the yeah. floor. That one hasn't come back. Oh, we've got a cat ball going off on the on the girder. There's no way we could cause any vibration from here. No, no chance. No chance. Let's get some more. We come only to learn. Okay, so that sounded like footsteps. footsteps pretty much directly above us, which wouldn't really make much sense because... How deep are we? Could do find him that out. Would we be able to hear him upstairs? What is directly above us? It's such a labyrinth, I wouldn't know. We've heard stories that a few years ago, a man that was excavating in here ran in fear and wouldn't come back. What happened? What did you do to him? These footsteps again. Quite loud. I need to find out what's above us. Yeah. Come and tell us your story. How did you end up in the Udley End? It transpires that the stone above us is around 15 foot thick and after attempting to recreate the footsteps on the ground and on the floors above us and in the surrounding areas we cannot mimic the sound. Thank you for joining us on our little promotional video. Join us on night two where we get to investigate the Narrow Marsh exhibit. Don't forget, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram.